how, how do you simplify the decision-making process for people? We basically try to give them just four or five ways to handle the item that they pick up. So Such as what? Keep it? Keep it, sell it, recycle it, uh, throw it away, or um, give it perhaps away. give it away. Maybe there's something sentimental that they would want their children to have. What can people do with all these mounds of paper that keep coming in the mail and seem to <laughs> stack and stack and stack? Well, there's an acronym that we use that says, only handle it once. Um, Noble it looks goal. like Ohio. Okay. Um, and uh, what it means is that when the mail comes in, look at it that minute and decide which pile it's going into. Don't just put it on your counter. If you just put it on your counter, it's going to get mixed up with tomorrow's mail and the day after's mail and the day after's yeah. mail. So what stacks would you have people put that mail in? Uh, bills. So to pay. To pay. Uh, to do, if there's something that you have to do. Uh, to keep, if you need to keep it. And to throw away. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> what about with all the books and magazines? I see so many houses where the, the quest for books and to have your own personal library um, probably makes the librarians happy, but um, books and magazines, what, what are your suggestions there? We encourage people to um, give books away and magazines. Many libraries will take magazines um, to begin reading the newspaper at the library if you can't read it and throw it out. Uh, and we've had people that have done that and have actually developed a social life at the library by mm -hmm. going to the library every day to read the newspaper. Um, and then we've given you some information on how to um, get off of mailing lists as well as uh, do not call lists. Look, we're going to show our right. viewers that right now so that they can right. jot those and numbers And that will down. really stop a lot of incoming So things. that works. Oh, absolutely. Beautiful. Well, you know, I want to spend a couple of minutes highlighting some of the ineffective techniques should I argue with my neighbor to throw his stuff out? Does that work? Being argumentative never works. Being judgmental never works. Not in any situation, not just with hoarders. I mean, when you think about ways that you interact with people that work and don't work, pretty much the same ways are going to be true with folks who are hoarding. I mean, this is a long-term pattern of behavior. So fighting with somebody or sneaking things out when they're not looking or you know your neighbor went to the store so you're going to rush into the backyard and remove some of the stuff, it, it's not the way to handle it. Um, you, you've really got to remember it's their choice and that they have to start making those decisions so that they can alter their behaviors. And you want to be supportive and encouraging to people, not fight with them about it or order them to do things or be judgmental mm -hmm. or pushy. Well, and I heard you say, you know, focus on a small area and develop some techniques and skill building for them. What are some other effective techniques that I can help someone with this um, issue? One thing that we do with folks that we work with is contract with them. We talk about the fact that they want to change where they're at right now or we wouldn't be there. And that it's important for them to understand that part of changing is contracting with us not to continue bringing things in, to work with us to help remove things and to make decisions about kind of simplifying and paring down. Um, we also find that it, it's very helpful if you have somebody who's coming back on a regular basis, whether that be a friend or a relative or someone like us, because then there's an expectation, right, that somebody else is going to be looking. And that many of our clients tell us that that is very helpful. When they know we're coming back, they're going to do the homework, or they want us to be pleased with what progress they've made. Once you develop a relationship, with clients, um, then they are open to opening themselves up to you and open to letting you into the house and open to letting you make a change with them in the house. Mm -hmm. But the first step is really to develop a relationship. And if you're judgmental and argumentative um, and you say, oh, wait, this is horrible, you know, um, even if your eyes say that, not, you know, you don't have right. to say it, but if your eyes say it, you'll never get back in. Makes me uh, uh, remember, I think, something you said, Lori, in the first show, and that is on motivation. Why are people collecting stuff? And what's the story behind it? And maybe once you learn the story right. behind mm -hmm. things, you as the person who's right. helping have more tools to 
evaluate and say, okay, right. well, that goes in the important stack. It's, it looks overwhelming on the surface, but it doesn't have to be overwhelming. If you remember that you're taking a long time to do this, mm -hmm. and if you're only doing a small section at a time, then to the person whose house it is, they see satisfaction in that small section, and it becomes less intimidating to them. What's, what's the definition of success um, that you would envision for someone with a problem with hoarding? That they're making progress and they're not trying to make the environment perfect. That's okay. pretty much what we consider to be successful. And that they have a more safe and comfortable environment and that they have an environment. They haven't been evicted from it. Okay. And they can use that dining room table, use it. Mm -hmm. for a lot of different things. Right. But remember, once again, it's not your house. So the dining room isn't going to look the way you and I want it to look. Right. A tough point to grasp. <laughs> right. right, I keep saying way. that, don't yeah. I? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is a tough point. Well, this has been great information. We're going to come back and find out how communities can do what um, you've organized in Washtenaw County and the Ann Arbor area. Mm -hmm.